Well, welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today, I'm going to explain to you how I think this is the best way to maintain your lawnmower in the fall when you finish using it and you want to winterize it. And you know what? I just finished emptying out the gas on this. I used the uh, bagger on the back and I pick up all the leaves and it shreds it probably like 10 to 1 so I can put them out for the city to pick up. And this is the way it is. There's nothing else to this. And what I do is I get it ready for the winter. And if you don't live in a climate that has winter, I guarantee you're going to pick up some good tips here too as well, just for general maintenance. But I only run synthetic oil. This says 10W30. I put 10W30 synthetic. I change it once a year. And this mower has gone over, it's self propelled has gone over 100 acres. Guys, I change it once a year, and this motor still runs as, as good as the day I bought it. So let's go over some stuff that I do, and see if you can pick anything up for yourself. Well, the first thing I probably do different than most of you do when you're changing your oil, is you actually get your machine, and you have to somehow tilt it up, or lower it back, some way or another, to get the drain plug out of the bottom of the engine. Well, you know what? Take a look in the fall after you've used your lawnmower and you'll see it's not so easy. And you got to be careful with a lot of these engines today. If you're tilting it upside down and up and back, you're going to fill your cylinder full of gasoline if you have gas in it. So the first thing you do is make sure you have no gas in it. And the second thing is, yeah, you can even have the engine oil, depending on the type of engine you have, go into your cylinder. And uh, I've seen that before as well from people tilting it up to get the drain plug out. This is the far the best way to do it. And I use one of these suction uh, gizmos here. You just pump it up and it sucks the oil out for you. Are you getting 100% out of all of it? No, you're not. But when you open up that drain plug on the bottom, I guarantee you it's sitting in the bottom of the sump there. It's not getting out 100% either. But it's enough, right? So... All I do is I just take this and uh, put it inside. And let's just get her going here. I can just feed it in there. And it doesn't want to feed in there right. I know there's a small hole there and this has a hard time getting it. There we go. Okay. I got a valve on my suction machine here. I've showed that before. And uh, we'll just start her up. I'm not in the hole there yet. There we go. It took a minute, but she's draining out there now. When she's finished draining, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, guys, it's finished draining, and I like to prop it up a bit because. Uh, you know what? This does have the strangest system for changing your oil. You're supposed to take this plug out right here. It's supposed to drain in here. And if you take a look right over there, there's the drain hole. So you're supposed to put a, uh, a pan underneath there and then just let her go, right? I think that's ridiculous. But yeah, a lot of times you will not have a dipstick. You'll just have a plug right here. Just clean it around first, take the plug out, and then insert your line. And that's about it for there. So you can see I always mark mine, you know, when I changed it. And I'll change that from a 7 to an 8. But uh, let's go on to the next part that I think is one of the most important parts. Well, here we are on the bottom of the uh, carburetor here. And you've got one bolt that's right here that actually holds the float bolt on. This one here is the drain bowl, and a lot of them, the drain bowl nut here or, or bolt, you just take that one off. And you know what? No matter how much you run this thing out of fuel, it will uh, more than likely still have fuel in there. And uh, let's see. There we go. It's not a lot, but uh, you know, that was enough. And that's all you have to do there and let that drain out. Now, with the ethanol gas, unless you're running high test, with the ethanol gas and you don't have any fuel stabilizer in your machine, you know what? 
I've seen these things gum up so bad just over one winter. The float bowl wouldn't even move up and down. It was just corroded right in there solid. So yeah, that's a quite a bit of fuel in there, you know. So let's move on to the next part. On my machine, uh, two weeks ago, I had to take the cover off here because it was getting hard to start and I re had to readjust the valves. I don't know if anybody ever wanted to see how to do that. But mine, so I put the uh, spec on here. You used to use a feeler gauge for that. And uh, that made a huge difference in getting it to start a lot easier. So that's where the uh, air filter goes. And you could see here, yeah, it's, it's time for a new filter. And time to clean the machine up. It has no fuel in it. It has no uh, oil in it. You can turn it upside down. You can turn it anywhere you want. You can clean it. Perfect time to take the blade off and sharpen it. I made a video a little while back about uh, how to sharpen a blade. I'll put a link down below if you want to see how I sharpen my blades. But uh, now we're going to move on to the spark plug. And I don't think there's too many people around that do this. You guys let me know if you do this. I do this on all my machines every year before I put them away for the winter. And I think it's a good thing to do. You guys let me know if you do this too. Okay, the next thing I do, as you can see, I took the spark plug out. Here it is right there. Just clean her up. And I always use some engine storage spray. And what I do is I have the cylinder in the down position. I'll show you how that's done. What I do is I just turn the uh, the blade down the bottom. I spray some in there. So I'll spray some in there right now. And that's probably, I would say, we're looking at maybe three quarters of an ounce, half an ounce, that's about it. I'm going to zoom you in. See if you can see when I raise the cylinder up. And that's why I like to leave it at the top of the, uh, the stroke. And uh, let's see if we can focus in on that and see how that comes up. And all I'm doing is just turning the blade from down below. Okay, you guys take a look. I got really zoomed in there and I got a light in there. There, you can see it coming up right, there we go, right there. And just stop right there. Put the spark plug in and put your, uh, your wire on top and away you go. Okay, well that's pretty well it. Oh, and I put the, uh, change it to the 18 here. Yeah, that's all you have to do to maintain your uh, lawnmower for the next season. And you know what, it doesn't take a lot of work. Uh, I would say the hardest thing people find is changing the oil. You know what, they don't make it easy, I'll agree there. But uh, the suction pump does a great job. And cleaning the machine thoroughly when it has no fuel no oil in it makes a huge difference and you'll get your machine to last for a long 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 time like I say this is done over a hundred acres imagine that and I just changed the belt for the first time this year um, you know what these things really go a long 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 way and to tell you the truth you only get out of your machine what you put into it and if you maintain a property, you can get many, many, many years. I mean, I'm using this more than I think this was intended for. So I think it's a good thing to do. And from one season to the next, I just cover it up, put it outside for the winter, and I'm done. So thanks for joining me here today. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. And you guys, take a look at your mower. And uh, maintain a property, serve you well. Cheers.